He's a Grammy-nominated Chicago rapper, actor, and activist, and now Vic Mensa is trying to help change the lives of people in prison. He started an organization called Books Before Bars. It's dedicated to providing books to underserved prison libraries and helping inmates turn their lives around. He was inspired by a fellow rapper, Cato. Vic Mensa and Cato are both with us this morning to tell us more. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Well, Vic, let's start with you. Uh, tell <laughs> us about how this uh, process works. How do you go about getting the books into the prisons? I have a partnership with a brilliant Black-owned bookstore located in Wicker Park called Semicolon Books, and they're helping us with the actual distribution of the books. But even before that, I've been sending books into the prison for about a decade. And in that time, I've learned that what the right book can do for somebody incarcerated is beyond measure. And I was largely inspired for this program by all of the books that I sent Cotto while he was recently incarcerated. And we would read them together. And it's everything from, you know, Deepak Chopra to quantum physics to James Baldwin and Octavia Butler. And um, I just saw this radical transformation um, in him and in myself at the same time. So, Cato, maybe you could talk about that experience of getting those books from Vic. Um, the f first and foremost, it was the support before anything. And um, I've realized how much what he was giving me in these books was going to change my life. I didn't know. I didn't expect it. But we started with uh, Florence Scarbo Shin, and that opened up everything else and it was like the portal was open and it was like the gateway and it felt like it was just it was just like time you know what i'm saying like it was just time for me to make that transformation and like those books were the affirmation and the confirmation for me to do so and it helped me it guided me through and it keeps me till this day so it's actually more is it more about the support or more about like i'm sure there's books that are available when you're there but is it about someone thinking about you and saying i think you, th I'm thinking about you when I send you this book. Uh, it's that, but it's also like what's in the book. Cause he could have sent me like, he could have sent me a novel of anything, you know yeah. what I mean? But books were meant, he sent those meaning for those books to help me. And then like he said, at the same time, we was reading them together. So, um, but we were sharing, we were sharing experiences. We were sharing what we, we, we learned from it. So he's on the out and I'm on and I'm inside. So we was going through what we was going through on a parallel, you know, on a parallel like basically on a parallel scale of everything going right. on and stuff so experiencing his on the out I was experiencing mine on the end and we just share experiences through these books you know what I mean I was like the that was the conduit for everything that we had going on and that was the main thing that changed me Vic have you um been in touch with with people who are in prison now and have you discovered that there is a a strong need for more books in these prisons I think first and foremost, it's important to say that there's a strong need for everything inside of the prisons, and that right now, in particular, there are numerous human rights violations going down. And most prisons are being put on 23-hour lockdown, multiple days, they don't leave the cell. This has been happening since COVID, and the prisons are using the excuses that they're understaffed to deny people of their basic human rights. So that's first and foremost. So they don't be getting their commissary. They don't even be getting their showers the way they're supposed to get them. Phone calls, time outside, nothing. Um, but as it pertains to books in particular, there is uh, a big shortage of libraries in a lot of the joints. Um, you know, since things like Pell Grants were ended or limited across the nation and opportunities for education were removed from the prisons, um, all of those things have suffered. Well, if you'd like to get involved in the Books Before Bars program, you can send them an email at the address on your screen. You can also get more at vicmensa.com and follow both Vic and Cato at social media. Thank you both for being here. Thank you so much for having us. Take care. Yeah, love. And I would like to say real quick, did I get cut off? No, I can hear you. Because what I'm saying is the, uh, yeah, so the Books Before Bars program is something that I'm running through my cannabis company, 93 Boys, which is the first black-owned weed brand to sell cannabis legally in Illinois. 
And um, so 93 Boys is responsible for the Books Before Bars program. All right. Thank you so much for being Thank here, you. both of you. Love.